Hello and welcome to my video on how to make and install a custom cable from a Corsair RGB hub to a digital head on a motherboard. These are all the controllers that I'm not using for my RGB devices inside of my PC. This should work on Corsair HD120, L120, and ML120 RGB fans. The Corsair RGB and standard um, 5050 RGB uses 2.54 millimeter pin connectors that happen to be the same type used on motherboards. The cable I made was from old case cables that are removed and spliced together with solder. I insulated each conductor with shrink wrap before I shrink wrapped the whole area. I wired red to red as data and white to blue f just for ground. Um, I also removed pins to place them in the right place um, by slightly bending the plastic on the connector and pulling the lead out. Do not yank these things out or else they will go back in well. Here is the RGB hub. The left pin is ground, the middle is data, and the 5 volt is the one with the keyhole. Do not plug anything to the 5 volt pin. This is one of the digital headers on my motherboard. I'm only using two pins, data and ground. Please refer to the manual to get the proper pinouts for your motherboard. Do this properly as I have no idea what 5 volts will do to the data line on your LEDs. Just make sure you kill the power switch on your ATX power supply, as you don't want your fat figures to turn on your PC on accident by, like I did. Here is what it looks like. If you need help making cables or soldering, there are plenty of videos on YouTube. I'll admit I no longer use this method as Coursera developed IQ, which now adds the functionality of Link and Q to their older Q, to their older softwares together. This still requires a $60 device to work though as IQ ha is hands down the best RGB software I've played with or seen. I decided to go ahead and get a Lightning Note Pro.